Right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Gav here. <laughs> I can't do it. You're gonna say your name? <laughs> this is the missus, Lucy. <laughs> well, that's the intro. No, you can't use that. Uh, yeah, I'm bloody well. No, yeah, I'll cool. get it. Hi, happy Friday. Right, so what I'm doing is a quick video today. It's just gonna be feeding a couple. Okay, so here um, we have a Pamphobetus Negri colour giant blue bloom female. A beautiful specimen, and I think you'll agree. Take straight away. And then in this one, it's only a quick look, but this is the Pamphobetus Negri colour giant blue bloom male. And uh, I think these are nearly getting ready, so I think he's probably one malt, maybe two at the max away. Here we have Snipes, who's looking rather plump, but doesn't refuse a meal. So Brazilian black, Grandma mm -hmm. Stola Poptra. Look how deep and velvety the colours are on this one. Beautiful. Okay, this one here, as you can see, Brachypelma Amelia, Mexican red leg. And I named this one Amelia. This is definite female and uh, normally a very good eater, this one. Just see your take. Yeah, there we go. So a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a fight, but um, she loves her food, this one. Okay, this one here, Brachypalma homori, Mexican red knee. This one's always interested in food, but for some reason this one just goes off food for four, maybe five, six months, and I never know. So it's been off for food for quite a while. It has molted um, seven months ago, so I didn't think it'd be due another malt now, but it does look like it's going into pre-malt again. So no, uh, this one wasn't hungry again. Okay, and one of my favourites, the Ferrophosistermi Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. This is a confirmed female. As you'd expect, really good eater, this one. I did try and get some shots of her out, but... Um, Recently after filming this, she's just sitting out permanently in the open and she's just eating, non-stop eating. She's literally, whether it's getting warmer and she's getting more active, but she's literally taking two every other day. She's just so hungry at the minute. I'll see if I can put a picture on here of her out and you can see the size of her abdomen. But that's her all fed. This is the one that had mites. It's a little bit smaller than the one you've just seen because it wouldn't feed for quite some time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you'll have to try and come down here because I don't want to break the webbing. I'm not doing that yet until... Do you want to... Let me have that and you catch one of them. Mm -hmm. The small one. About as small as you can find. All loose now. Let's see if we can get this one to take and turn around. Zoom in. There we go, that's a good shot. Oh, how do you catch these little... Told you, they're liars. really hard to catch, aren't they? Right, go on, try and stick it on there so it goes towards them. Oh, look at the blue fangs, yes. You see that? Oh, that's stunning. Oh, did you get, yeah. yeah. Christ, that was quick, I blinked then. See the chalicerae? Beautiful. Still can. Yes. Look oh at that. Oh my God, look at that. What a shot. She's that's stunning. a thumbnail. Thumbnail. That's stunning. Oh, it's fighting. That is a beaut, that is. I'm glad this one took because um, this is the smaller out of the two, but I've managed to keep them both alive. Um, I You can look back in my channel and have a look at the previous uh, videos of this because I had issues with them with mites and I managed to cure them both. But I would put it as an annotation on this screen, but I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. So you'll have to just uh, go all the way back through and have a look. If I do figure it out, then it will pop up on the screen now. She'd make a good time. Yeah, I know. I love that. Oh, I'll just turn around. A little happy dance. <laughs> That's what they call it. Because they, they wear right at the top. Yeah, they call Aww, it a happy dance. She's happy. Happy Friday. Right. <clears throat> I can't even say that. Flamingo chillus species rufus. Flamingo chillus. 
Flamingo chillis. Flamingo chillis. Right, and as you can see, I had this in this little enclosure because it's just taken so long to grow, and now I can't find it, so I'm gonna have to pull this apart. An easy way to do that is just give me a shout if you see it before I do. There you go, what's that on the back? Where? No, no it's just it looks different when you're looking for your camera. It's there, I can see it. See? Beautiful colours. Yeah. Give me a close up of it there. So it is still alive, so very, very happy with that. So sometimes you have to do this in a hobby to uh, check on these things because they can just hide for ages and you don't know if they're in there. You don't want to ruin their enclosure, but you need to check on them just to make sure they're okay and whether or not to leave some food in there. So I will put this back in, try not to disturb it too much. Beautiful colours though, it's gone to a black coloration already. I'll put an adult picture on the screen as well of what this one will look like. And because it's malted there, pulled the malt out, I'm not going to feed this one. I'll leave it just for another week. Okay, so here's one of my Hogner Miami wolf spiders. I have two of these, hoping for a pair. Um, the other one wasn't feeding, um, so I went on to feed this one. And I think you'll agree the coloration of these are beautiful and they are such aggressive eaters and they do just wander around and hunt um, in their enclosure. So they are very, very good to watch these ones. Um, so the other one, as I said, didn't feed at all, but um, I am thinking this one is the female and the other one is the male. But there you go, some good clips from us today on those. So I hope you did enjoy that. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment below of any of them that you think are your favourites. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.